Hi, it's Becky. Articulate storyline users will often create various states to convey a character's emotion and then wonder how to set things up so the state changes can occur automatically, as you can see during Rhonda's phone conversation in this story. Watch her face and notice how her expression is changing. Actually, what I'm showing you now is based on a tutorial I'd created with Storyline 1. I wanted to share how much easier the automatic state changes can be triggered in Storyline 2. I'm going to click on this slide where the triggers haven't yet been set up and we'll set them up together. When I click on Rhonda and then on the States tab, you can see that I've set up and named the various states and I've added captions so the emotions are conveyed more easily. If you're familiar with state changes, you know they can be triggered when something happens. In Storyline 2, there's a new When Timeline Reaches option. And this can be when the timeline reaches a certain time or when it reaches a cue point. You can see I've set up two cue points on this timeline. Now wait till you see how easy it is to set this up. We'll create a new trigger to change the state of Rhonda to Sirius when the timeline reaches a time of two seconds. And we'll use cue points for the other two. So, change the state of Rhonda to shot when the timeline reaches cue point one. And for the angry state, I'm going to copy and paste the shocked trigger. With the shock trigger active, I'll click copy and then paste. Double click here and change this to angry and this to cue point two. That's it. Let's take a look. What should be happening is Rhonda will first be happy, then she'll become serious and then shocked, and then angry. Said it was easy, didn't I? If you have any questions, be sure to come on over to the eLearning Heroes community.